Footballers and their hairstyles, it's a common thread in the world game and Japanese players have a reputation for being especially enthusiastic about a trip to the hairdressers. But Masato Fukui won't be showing his new cut to the Tokyo public. He's come halfway round the world to one of Europe's more out-of-the-way leagues. Before I came here, well, I played in all sorts of teams. When I was in primary and secondary education, I played for the school teams and for different clubs as well. And then I played for my university too. After I graduated from university, I turned professional and I went to play for a club in the second division of the J-League. They were called Gainare Totori and I played for them for two years. After that, I went abroad and I moved to Singapore and joined a club called Home United. And then I came here. Masato Fukui is now playing up front for Sudieska Niksic, champions of Montenegro. He's been an ever-present and his pace causes opponents problems. The Montenegrin football is very different to anything he's come across before. The differences between Japanese and Montenegrin football? Well, perhaps the biggest difference between the two leagues is the speed. To be honest, the game is played at a much faster pace in Japan. The players there, they all seem to be faster too, I think. However, the players here in Montenegro are much bigger physically. They're much stronger. They're much taller. And so from this point of view, at least, the level of football is much higher in Montenegro. And it's quite challenging. There are now plenty of Japanese players in Europe, and not all are eye-catching names like Kagawa and Honda. Fukui is one of four Japanese who've tried their luck in this small Balkan Republic, so what's life like for him here? I spend a lot of time training, of course, and I have to say that I've never felt uncomfortable, and I don't have any real problems either. There is the food, of course. That's quite different. And I get help from my teammates about that, which I really appreciate. Yes, I suppose I am enjoying myself here. And there's another thing, too. I also feel that the whole town is supporting me. When I walk down the street, people always say hello to me. I never experienced this in Japan. Fukui is 24, and his professional career is more about personal fulfilment than a shot at national team glory. He's a university graduate, which means that should his European adventure come to an end, he'll have plenty to fall back on. Well, I'd like to continue my career as a professional player for as long as I possibly can. However, if I did have to leave the professional life, I've always been interested in architecture. I graduated from university as a civil engineer, so I suppose I wouldn't mind working in that area. For the moment, though, Fukui is happy in Niksic. Sudieska are among the title challengers, so life is good both on and off the field. Just once in a while, though, there's a small reminder that he's not at home anymore. I live in an apartment in town at the moment and it just so happened that the apartment right above mine was being renovated. Now in Japan, it's unimaginable that an apartment with somebody living on the floor below would have work done without thinking about whether that person is asleep or just doing something else. Here, they just proceeded with the renovation work. I was really surprised, but then this is a different country. 